Hi, well we're back in the shop. Um, I haven't done a video for a while so I thought I'd do a bit of an update. We've been out on a on a few trips now uh, and everything is is working well. Uh, it all uh, all the layout seems really good, functions well. But I think I left off with the insulation so I'll just backtrack a bit and uh, go over that. So I use the spray insulation. Um, a bit controversial, I know, the old insulation, vapour barrier, recycled plastic, PIR, whatever. So I've gone for a spray insulation. Uh, I did it myself. Uh, it uh, seems okay. I, I think there's so much air movement in a van when you're travelling, when you're parked up. Uh, there's so much ventilation that I don't think uh, condensation is an issue uh, with with me using the spray insulation. This is a closed cell, so there's no there's in effect it is a moisture barrier. Uh, I've gone round and looked to see if there are any slight gaps in my insulation, of which there is one there I can see where it hasn't quite reached the exterior panel. So what I do is I get my spray gun. Um, and I just apply a little bit more insulation right in there just so that it closes off that that area uh, there aren't many of them that I can see I've had a pretty good look now that leaves the spray insulation does leave still a bit of a distance between the surface and any panelling that's going on the inside, so I'm supplementing that with this recycled uh, plastic off a roll of insulation, just cut to size, stuffed in there um, all the way along, and it just helps with, um, with a bit of extra insulation. Some places you just can't get to, for example, up, up by the lock, the lock mechanism you don't want to be putting any spray insulation in there i use plastic bags and paper to protect all that before insulating i've gone up all of the all the cavities that i can as far up it's not going to be perfect i don't expect it to a vapor barrier i, I cannot see that a vapor barrier is going to cover all these holes anyway you, you know there are lots of lots of places that you just can't protect completely uh, all the locks so um, I've gone for the I believe there's enough air movement to allow any any moisture to evaporate so after the after all that uh, insulation has gone on um, I have then covered the exposed metal with a six, six or eight millimeter uh, layer of sticky sound deadening um, neoprene insulation. So I've stuck that on on all the metal work. Uh, here you can see an area that I've done already. So I've gone around and added the neoprene insulation to cover all the metalwork and then over the metalwork I've then spray stuck our material which we're finishing the whole van off with so that again that gives a, um, a thermal break between the metal and anything on the interior uh, as much as possible it's not a, it's not a building you can't do it as accurately as a building uh, and yeah I'm quite pleased with the with the finish it gives a nice soft feel these are cardboard cards around the window again with um, with insulation material sprayed sprayed on the card and then material over the top 
so it's a good it's a good look to the finish and we're happy with it so here's a here's a door card uh, it's just three three and a half mil poplar ply with the scrim foam and then that'll be fixed onto there after the metal is covered with that neoprene and again the cloth. Uh, sorry for the erratic camera movement. So here's for example, here's, here's one that will go right up to the top uh, and cover that panel. Three mil ply, three and a half mil ply with a three mil closed cell foam scrim. Closed cell because if you use open cell, like the first lot I bought, which is this cheap grey stuff, the adhesive bleeds through. So you spray adhesive between the plywood and the scrim, and then again between the scrim and the material. But if it bleeds through and you, you press your finger into it, sometimes the material sticks to the inside panel and, and just leaves just a small crater. It's not so evident on the, on the material, this black material I'm using, but I'll go back to this. On the ceiling there, that perforated vinyl, uh, that very, very easily sticks to the plywood through the uh, scrim. So, closed cell foam there. Uh, what else about the insulation? I think that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Just a very quick one on the insulation. Uh, lots of supplementary stuffing of of this recycled uh, insulation into any of the cavities left, keeping away from any of the cables that need to run freely uh, in this in these tracks, and any of the door handle cabling. Being very careful to not to um, snag those or seize those up with the expanding foam. Alright, I'll do another one soon. Cheers.